I've decided the wig just needed a bit more volume and a bit more style. It was pretty, but it was just a bit flat and bland. So, so I'm just going to do a bit of back combing and just change it up a little bit, make it a bit bigger. So I've done a lot of back combing, um, just to give it a bit of volume. And I've just pinned the front like this. I'm just taking this one out to see after I've sprayed it, and it looks really pretty. I like that. It's a much better shape than the flat shape that we had before. So I'm going to take these out because if it drops a little bit, that's okay. And that's much nicer with that little bit of height there. I'll stop fussing with it and just leave it and get on with other things. So today has not gone as planned. So I glued the earrings onto the little crown base and the glue just would not hold. I don't know why because it's E6000. I've used it before. I've made a crown exactly like this before and it glued just fine. Um, I think now looking back on it it was because of the curve of the crown base was like that and the back of the earrings was slightly curved so there wasn't a lot of contact so I got really really cranky and I was about to give it all up so this should have taken an hour this morning and it's taken me all day so I got super cranky and then I recorded for the vlog saying how cranky I was and I was, in, oh, I was in a really bad mood. It made me so angry that it hadn't worked. And that didn't record with any sound. So then I got even crankier. But I figured it all out. So it's all good. So I have my microphone plugged in but turned off. So it just recorded with no sound. So, But it's probably just as well. Because I was super cranky. So I've had a rethink and a redo with the crown. I've moved the um, earrings from the top of the upright parts of the base down to the bottom. And re-glued them. First of, all, oh, first of all, I tried using um, a hot glue gun just to get it done so I could get the video finished because I wanted to get it up tonight. That's gone out the window. It's not going to happen, which I'm really annoyed about. But anyway, I um, I moved them. It's still got pegs on it. So I've moved them from being here to being here. And it seemed like the shape of the earrings and the shape of the crown work better together because they are actually stuck on. And then I've re-glued the wires on because even oh, just it just wasn't working. Let me take the pegs off and we'll see how it's looking. Anyway, I'm not as cranky as I was earlier, but I'm still annoyed because I really wanted to get this finished today. I wanted to get this done, the shoes done, the horseshoe done, and film the end of the video. And it's now seven o'clock at night and I haven't even finished the crown. So I'm really annoyed that I haven't got nearly as much done today as I wanted to. But it happens, so it just means I'm behind for the rest of the week already. But that actually worked really well. So I'm hoping that I can bend, just bend these out a little bit and get that nice curve. Oh, that's super cute. So all I'm gonna do now is add a few extra stones on here and it's done. So I still can get this video finished tonight. Just means I won't be able to get it uploaded till tomorrow so my plan of um video monday tuesday wednesday is now tuesday wednesday thursday so annoyingly enough but it is what it is so sometimes things don't go as you want them to but it's super cute i love it so today i have filmed the rest of the crown video got that edited and got it up then I've also made the horseshoe and decorated that. I haven't made the horseshoe. I've decorated a horseshoe that I have. And I've added the silver lace to the shoes as well. So that is Fortuna completely finished and ready to film the end of. The wig's over there. That's the necklace and earrings that I've chosen to go with it as well. So I've got those. Um, I'm going to set the studio up ready to film the end of it first thing in the morning. I'll get up and do my makeup straight away and get it filmed. Um, I'm behind again. My daughter's homesick from school again. Oh my god, this time of year and all the bugs going around schools. It's just a nightmare. So I'm way behind again. So I'm actually going to start working on Jazida's bodysuit corset tonight just for an hour or so. Just because I I need to get on top of everything. It's a nightmare. And then I'll film the end of this and edit the video tomorrow. So last night I managed to get Jazida's pattern recut with all the alterations from the final twirl fitting and then today I've got it all cut out so this is all of it so front side front side back back for the outside and the same for the lining and everything's basted onto that um, 
I should have got further today. I didn't film the end of Fortuna because my poor daughter is sicker than ever, poor darling. And she's been really clingy and really needy. My husband's on call and he's just got a call out so he's gone for the whole evening as well. So it's probably unlikely I'm going to get out and get anything done this evening. I'm starting to come down with it. I can feel it on my throat. So everything's falling apart this week. I don't know how. Uh, I'm just a bit stressed worrying about how I'm going to get it all done. But I will get it all done. I always get stressed but it always gets done. I'll see what time my husband gets home from his call out. I might come and spend an hour just starting to join this. I got the vlog edited and uploaded which is good. Um, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully, hopefully my daughter will be less, um, she's been really needy, bless her, which um, it's not a bad thing. We'll, we'll get like that when we're sick and need our mums, don't we? So, yes, yeah, so I haven't been able to leave her very much to get on with things today. So, see how she's feeling tomorrow. I think she's going to, she's missing out on a big school excursion tomorrow. So I think she's going to be a bit upset, but, um, yeah, hopefully... I'll be able to get out and at least get a few hours done out here to catch up. I've got someone picking up a wedding dress tomorrow as well. I've got someone picking up a headpiece in half an hour. Oh my God, it's just my brain's all fuzzy trying to cope with it all. But I'll get there. I'll get back on top of it. I always do. So it's finally time to film the final part of the Fortuna dress. I've done my makeup, which let me move in close. Oh, I've gone too far. I'm really happy. Really happy with how my makeup for this has turned out. So I've got like a sort of pinky purple on my eye and silver glitter. And then a red lip. So I've gone quite quite dramatic. So but I think the dress is dramatic enough that it can take it. And um, it's a look that would work well with a really simple makeup as well. But because it's me and this is my style, I've gone super glam. And this is what I do for a catwalk show as well because you want that drama on the catwalk. So. This is how I would style this dress for a catwalk show. Skirts on! Oh. Right, corset next. So, use a change scarf to protect your hair and makeup when you're putting dresses on. You put it over your head, put the dress on, and then you can pull it off afterwards. And it protects your hair and makeup. Oh, hello, waist. That's it, I think I'm in. Not easy lacing a corset on yourself. True loads all over the place, I can't reach them. Never mind. Oh, I love how the cape sits. What have I got there? Oh, jeez. All right. I'm going to put the rest of the jewellery on and put the wig on and then I'll be back to film the finished look. Okay, I'm in. This is the wig and the little crown. It looks so cute. So let's film this full dress look. So that's it. I think I'm done. I think I've got all the shots I need. Um, it was quite awkward because um, I'm using my phone as a remote control with that app that comes with the camera. It was awkward trying to sort of hide my hands. So all the full length shots I've got one arm behind me which looks a bit stupid but it's the only way I've got to take photos there's no one here so I'm on my own and I'm just gonna do the best I can with what I've got so the crown is gorgeous I'm in love with this wig I wish I cut it shorter though it's a little bit too long and it's just getting caught in the beads a little bit too so um if I do a photo shoot with this I might cut it shorter and just style it a little bit differently but for this I'm happy I love the colors together so that's it, I'm going to go upload the photos and videos, edit, and I should get the video up tonight. So, see you soon. So I've been working on Jazida's corset body the last couple of days and it's starting to come together. I'm not 100% happy with it. My my head's all over the place this week. I think because my, um, because I've been sick, my daughter's been sick, I'm behind and I'm sort of rushing and panicking a bit. I'm not sewing brilliantly and it's, um, I'm not 100% happy with it. But... It's going to be covered in crystals and, and lace, so I'm kind of got to just put it out of my head and get on with it because time is time is getting yeah time's starting to run out. So this is where I'm up to. So it's all joined, and all my boning channels are sewn. So that's the, how the back is looking, and that's how the front is looking. And um, we've got the zip in the front, 
and the hooks at the bottom my sewing on this is all over the place I've just like I say I've just not been on on the ball this week um, I've sewn the hanging loops into bone channels a million times and had to unpick them it's just yeah it's not as smooth as my normal corsets are for some reason I think I'm just yeah yeah a bit embarrassed but never mind it's gonna be covered in crystal so I've got to let it go anyway so it's all together so next I'm gonna bone it and eyelet it and Jazida's actually coming for a fitting this afternoon so I want to get this boned and eyeleted ready for her to try and I want to get just a quick calico toile of the jacket that's going with it up as well so okay so I've got all the boning in and it looks so much better it's amazing how much those wrinkles have smoothed out when you put when you get the boning in so I'm a lot happier with it now it's still not perfect there's still some wobbly stitching but it was really hard to sew in places because you've got the front and back joined together I'm used to sewing with either the back open or the front and back open so to sew some of the parts with it both joined was really tricky like getting the zip in was really awkward but I managed it and it's done and I think for a first attempt at a corset body I'm actually really happy with it and um, eyeleting it was pretty tricky as well because it's joined to there to get the eyelets in was a little bit tricky and um, I used some black eyelets and the color has come off quite a lot as I've hammered them in it's come off a lot on that one but I think like if I was leaving it plain it would be quite obvious but I think because we're adding so much decoration to this it won't notice once it's all together so again I'm not that fussed um, there's a few things construction wise I might do a bit different if I made another one um, don't know but uh, yeah overall I'm really happy I can't wait to see it on Jazida she's going to be here in a couple of hours to try it on and um, once she's tried it on the only job left to do to finish the actual construction part is to put the bias binding on all the edges and then I can start decorating which I'm really really excited about okay so next I'm going to make this little jacket with the exaggerated shoulders um, I've never done this before so I've been kind of thinking about this for a while and how to do it so what I've done is I've drawn out just a basic bolero pattern um, which is uh, I've used this paper pattern that I've had for years and years and years and years so I've used this one but I've shortened it quite a lot because I don't want it this long so that's my back and my front and my sleeve then what I've done so this is the original line of the shoulder so what I've done is I've lifted it up so I've gone up three centimeters and out three centimeters so it should curve up and out like that and then I bought the armhole back in, so front and back, so it sort of comes back to where it was there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut half with the new shoulder and half with the old shoulder. Because I'm thinking when I make it, I need to make the inside lining with the normal pattern and the outside with this. And I can put some kind of stuffing between it to hold them up. Um, now the sleeve I wasn't so sure about either. So there's my sleeve pattern and again this was my original pattern so I've extended it the three centimeters we've gone up at the top there and then I've added all this extra fabric either side and then brought it back to what it was here so I'm hoping that's gonna work and again I'm gonna cut one of the regular pattern then one of the new one and put this calico twirl together with one half normal and one half with the new shoulder on and see how it looks and then when Jazida's here she can try it on and we can see how it fits and if this is going to work or not so I'm going to cut it out and just um, tack it together really quickly and then we'll pop it on my dress form and see how it looks okay so it's all sewn together so let's have a look and see how it looks so this is my that must be my regular side and this is my exaggerated side. Wow, I think that looks awesome. I think once I've got um, some kind of padding in there, I haven't clipped the curves on the neck, that's why it's sitting funny. I think I'm really happy with that. I think it's big enough to give that exaggerated look. 
I need to lose some of the ease in the shoulder. There was just a little bit too much around the top. Overall, I'm really happy with how that's looking. Cool, so this is the fitting with the jacket toile that I made just before. So the shoulders looking really good. Once we've got some structure in there, I'm thinking maybe a line of boning down here. Mm -hmm. And the sleeve's a bit big, so I'm gonna lose all of this from the top of the sleeve. And we're gonna lose all of this excess fabric because it was just a bit baggy. And it's gonna come down just into a point and then we're gonna have crystals and lace coming up the sleeve there. So mm -hmm. that's that. So if we take this off, I can show you the corset body. Oh, you okay? Yeah, we Is it might too have tight to get off. It's Very, right on the cuffs. All right, I'll make it just a tiny bit looser. Again, it's that balance between tight enough that it looks great, yeah. but but, also <laughs> but you still have to be able to yeah. wear it. Okay, so <gasps> this what is what? <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, I really love, I love it so much. Do you want to just keep touching your waist? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's un, it's unusual for it to be this tiny. <laughs> so, after all my wobbles with how how I thought it was really wrinkly, as soon as it's on and it's pulled tight, it looks absolutely fine. We've got the length at the front fine now. The fit around the bust is really good. Mm. Um, the zip is there to mm. get it on and off, mm -hmm. and it's sitting. Yeah, again, right. when I showed you, when I first put the zip in, it was lumping up, but now it's sitting really flat. And once we, again, once we've got the crystals and the lace on top of it, that's going to help it sit flat mm. as well. And then at the back, that's how it fits at the back. Mm. We need to lose some ribbon. We've got miles of ribbon. And that's the fit and the shape at the bottom now. So mm -hmm. that's it. There's no changes. So I can go ahead and put the bias binding on. And then start decorating it, which I'm really excited about. Yes. So, thank you thank so you much. much. Thank you so thank much. You so much. And yeah, I can't wait to decorate it. And mm. I'll be back to show you the next step really soon. Mm. Hi, today is my birthday, and my family, where are you, Lil? Not even listening. Uh, taking me plant shopping. So, we're headed to Pialago to the nurseries there to look for some nice indoor plants and pots because I am really obsessed with indoor plants at the minute. Is that true, Lil? <laughs> Why are you scared? They're beautiful. It's lovely having plants in the house. Not quite, but we, we might have soon if I keep going like this. So we've been to the first nursery and I've got this gorgeous ivy. This beautiful pot. And this plant, I can't even remember what it's called, but it's just gorgeous. So I'm going to go to another nursery now and have a look at more plants and more pots. <laughs> Lil's really happy about that. Really happy. So we got a good little plant hoard, didn't we, Lil? And you got a plant too. After moaning, after moaning about coming plant shopping, you got a little baby succulent. Didn't find many good pots though, so we're gonna have to go pot shopping at some point. But and I made really, friend. really happy. Oh, and Lil's got a leaf that she found. Maple. Hello, Hello maple. Um, and now we're on our way to have some lunch. So, as usual, when we head out for dinner for a birthday or an anniversary, we are at my favourite vegan restaurant, which is Olak here in Woden. My new baby plants have found home. So this was a present from Kartika in this beautiful little pink ceramic pot. So he's going to live in that corner. Then my ivy, I've still got to find a pot for my ivy to go in, but he's going to go up here and hopefully grow up the wall. I'll put some wires up and maybe even up over the antlers of my little metal deer head there as well. Then my big plant in his little scale pot is going to live on my dining room table and the one with the gorgeous orange leaves is going to live here on the table in my living room because he'll get loads of sun when the curtains are open there's a big window behind there so he'll get some great sunlight 
during the day. So I've had an absolutely wonderful birthday, plant shopping and then lunch. And then we met Kartika and her family went bowling for the afternoon, which is good fun. Even though I've pulled my hair from getting old. So I <laughs> felt it. Um, I was rubbish at it, but it was such a good laugh anyway. And then we come home, just been chilling at home this evening. So back to work and back to sewing tomorrow. So that's the end of the vlog for this week. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.